Hey everybody, today I'm on a small little free stoner on the north side of Mount Shasta. Uh, we got some tips about this little stream, so we're gonna go see what we can find in here. I have no idea what to expect, but I'm gonna start off today fishing with a, like a normal tapered Harvey leader, and I'm gonna fish dry dropper. I think I've got uh, an atomic ant on the dry and then a shot back for the dropper, so wish me luck. I worked my dry fly and my nymph through this little this little run. It's definitely some good holding water. There should be some fish in here. And that one was right there at the top. Ooh, got something. Nice. Super cool. Took the shot back. Oh, what a beautiful. Oh, it's a book trout. Cool. What's making that sound? Had one. <laughs> Thought it was a snag. Oh, that was a decent fish, comparatively. Nice. This is a rainbow.
grassy right here. But fish like to sleep in the grass. See here. Well, here we go. We're definitely having like the high mountain stream experience, you know, stealthy stalking fishing around all the little nooks and crannies with a really light rig. Sorry, some largish bird just flew by. That's the cast. Nope. No, thank you. can't really tell where the structure is from where I'm standing. It goes down a lot. But I'm guessing it's catching a weed. Hey everybody, what's up? I feel like it's been forever since we've last sat down and did a recap on a video. See, this video was actually filmed about six weeks ago from the time I'm filming this recap. Uh, I moved up to Siskiyou County, I'm up near Mount Shasta now, and this was actually a fishing trip back from when I was scouting around shopping for houses and we spent an afternoon just fishing on a little high mountain creek. So yeah, that was a super fun day. Uh, what can I say? It was a beautiful little stream. The fish were beautiful. There were uh, aspen, I don't know, the Mount Shasta off in the distance and the views, it was just, a, you know, just a really peaceful day. I kind of kept the music down low key this time because I just thought this video was really quiet, really meditative mentally. And I think for a lot of us, that's what fishing is all about. We just get out there to sort of erase our day-to-day -day business life, our family, all the things that just sort of cloud our mind and then we get out there to free it and let it all go. And that's what this trip felt like for me. Because shopping for a house is stressful, buying a house is stressful, and just getting out on the water and catching a few fish, hearing the water gurgle by, hearing the wind in the trees, it was just great. But today I fished dry dropper, nothing super special. I had a bionic ant on top, and I believe a shot back on the dropper most of the time. I got all my fish on the dropper. Nobody came up to eat the ant, but either way, I did it mainly for a really light presentation because these fish were super spooky. If you didn't stock the water just right, the water or the fish would just run off. And, uh, that's pretty, you know, what you'd expect for a really skinny water like that. It's barely moving. And the fish were just sort of tucked up against little grassy banks. Uh, I didn't really find them in deeper pools. They were more like up against structure like grass or even around rocks. So, uh, yep, pretty simple, basic dry dropper kind of day. Uh, thanks for watching. If you haven't yet, please like the video and consider subscribing. And until next time, everybody, Godspeed.